young athletes have been helped on their way by Sports Aid. Let's hear it for these rising stars. So what level are you at at the moment? How close are you to being an Olympian? Well, um, British champion, second best in Europe, so I'm near enough there. Pretty, d pretty damn close. Next year I'm hoping to go to the Senior Commonwealth Games, which would be an amazing achievement. But um, one day, that would be amazing. And what's the great appeal of fencing for you? Hitting people. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> The one to watch for 2009. Jody is simply one of the most exciting and talented young sprinters the sport has ever seen. She's undefeated in her career so far at 100 and 200 meters. She's only 15 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, the one to watch award for 2009 goes to Jody Williams. Congratulations, and uh, what a fantastic year you've had, unbeaten in your career so far. There's not many athletes who can say that. I'm just so glad it all paid off. This award's a great recognition to the end of a really good season. It gives me great pleasure to be up on stage to announce this year's Sports Aid Legends Award. The sport is squash, and tonight's winner is Peter Nichol. How important is sports aid work? Hugely important. Um, I mean, just going back to the guys and girls who spoke to on the way in, couldn't actually get going on the, on the ladder. And I, I was very fortunate as well to have the support of my parents, as a lot of people don't have that. So to get this funding, to whatever extent, to buy shoes, to buy a racket in my case, or to go to a couple of events a year, makes all the difference. Um, and it's so important that there's events like this to help raise more funds for it. Um, and we need to support um, future athletes in this country because it's a wonderful thing to do to change people's lives. Would you welcome on stage, please, Becky Adlington, Kerry Ann Payne, Denise Lewis, Karen Pickering, and Dame Mary Peters. It makes a huge difference just if you can kind of get a little bit of a better suit or kind of stay in a better hotel, get a better night's sleep or just anything. The little things is what makes the difference. It was the, the lifesaver really. I mean, I just remember that sort of like 16, 17 when you leave school and you think, do I go and get a proper job and have some money or, um, you know, do I try and make my athletics career at work? And it was, you know, every single penny counted and made a difference. And when that check came through from SportsAid, that, that was the difference staying in the sport. Sport aid for me was the difference between doing sport and not doing sport. Sports aid has always been a, a big part of, of all the youngsters that are coming through up to international level um, and certainly that was true of, of my sport in modern pentathlon as well. There's a lot of people at the Olympics that I know that had funding given to them from sports aid who, who made it there so you know it, it's um, so good that there's somebody out there you know helping the people who are just underneath because that's where you've got you've, everybody's got to start somewhere really so it's fantastic. Um, they were one of the first uh, organizations if, if I remember rightly that ever gave me a grant um, it, it wasn't lots of money uh, I remember it being you know quite a small amount but it actually went quite a long way because it was the days before I was sponsored and had to buy my own spikes and and kit and that sort of stuff and it just took a little bit of pressure if I'm really honest, off my parents uh, to not have to buy you know two three pairs of spikes during the season. So yeah, they've been around you know a fair while. There was Sports Aid Foundation when I remembered, and the fact that someone that I hadn't met had belief in me, well that was um, that was pretty special.